Hey, how are you doing? It's your buddy Ganglego, and thank you for clicking on this video. Now, today I've got for you another Mobs for Money video, and it is a wilderness based monster. So, if this isn't the type of thing for you, then maybe just watch for the algorithm. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to be heading into the wilderness and I'm going to be going to the Revenant Caves. Now, I have a fairly low range level, fairly low stats, so I'm actually going to be killing. The second lowest revenant, revenant goblins. I had them as a slayer task, and I actually got a ancient totem drop. I, think I made about 1.5 mil in total from 72 revenant goblins. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it another go, and then just see how we get on. So, if you do like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see some more content, go check the channel out. Do loads of money making videos and mobs for money videos on RuneScape. And last but not least, I'd appreciate. If you went ahead and subscribed, if you did like the videos. Anyway, this is the setup we're using. I'm literally just going to use a bone crossbow. I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to have loads of money as a risk. Obviously, the risk you've got is in the Rev Cave. You do have a 100k um, fee to get into there. So that is a risk there as it is. But hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. Not many people go for the Revenant Goblins. So when I was there, I think I saw one person try and kill me. I think they did. I think they did kill me too. Fair. Last time I was there. But anyway, let's give it a little go. So what I'm going to do is going to head on over to the Rev Cave now, and we will get cracking, and I'll see you over there. Five minutes later. So here we are over at the Revenant Cave. Already paid the fee, so it's nicely done. Got the imps over here. And then over here we have got the goblins. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the timer going. And we will... No, we won't. We're going to hot world before we do that. I've just seen a couple of people fighting. So let's not, let's not take a risk. <laughs> and they were able to get me. Oh, that was a skull person. So I don't really know. Let's just hop around first. I can't see anybody at the moment. Obviously, if I do see PKs, then I'll either run away or I will hop. We'll see. But let's get the timer going. Ready? Steady, go. And these are really, really easy to kill. I have brought food. I'm not going to be needing much of it realistically. But I have brought it just in case. But the beauty, obviously, in the wilderness is having that looting bag means that I can literally just fill the looting bag up full of stuff and not have to worry too much. Um, I'm literally I'm going to be picking up pretty much everything. I don't know if there's anything that I won't be picking up. Now, the downside to killing these revenant goblins is because I kill them so quick, they I have to wait for them to respawn. Now, what I could potentially do is if I was doing this as a money making for me not for a video i could run between here and there and have a go at the imps at the same time or i could hot weld if i really wanted to but i'm just gonna stick with the goblins i did say an arrow goblins so literally what two minutes in now i've got to try and remember not to do is put the bone bolts that i pick up off the floor into my loot bag I always do that <laughs> and then i end up with like a waste slot in my loot bag which is the absolute worst oh i've done it i've gone and done it haven't i i've literally just said about not having a bone bolt in my looting bag <laughs> and i just gone and ruined my looting bag <laughs> oh oh well that there is a pretty big drop. It's a shame I haven't gotten a vernic necklace on. Is it a vernic necklace? I'll correct myself. Edit in if not. Um, because obviously these would have been. Oh, let me do that. These would have been noted, but 13k worth of lighted manta ray. I go ahead and just put these in the inventory for the most part. Purely because... Obviously they are food, so if I need them... 
well, some, you know, if I get PK'd and I need them, then at least I've got some extra food. The other thing I am going to keep on me is that blighted snare sack as well. Again, if I'm being PK'd, it means I've got some snares, so it means I can hopefully snare them and get away and get locked out. I don't know why he did that. Had somebody just come run at me and fire a bolt at me and then bugger off. But anyway, we are at the 10 minute mark. So I'll keep my eye on over here because that's where he ran off to. We're at the 10 minute mark. Um, we'll just pick up these items here and have a little quick look, a little look at how much we've got so far in 10 minutes. Most of the stuff has been really effort and then coins. We've got 35k in the looting bag. We did get a couple of bits here. That's the geezer. Ask him if I'm a bot. <laughs> He's going around killing bots. Fair enough. Okay, so, yeah, 10 minutes in, we've done 35k in the looting bag, and I picked up 13k's worth of blighted manta ray, so we're looking at about nearly 50k in the first 10 minutes. Revs really is a fantastic place to make some money, even at low level, clearly. Don't off. Panic every time I see somebody, though. Oh, I've done it again. But that's fine, I've got a slot in there already, and I so. I'm not sure what happened with this clip here, but for some reason the mic wasn't working at the time. It was, I don't know, muted or something maybe. But as you can see right there, I got a bracelet of Ethereum drop, which is a nice little 40, 50k drop. Bracelet of Ethereum, I said about the second one I've had, now I have one the first time I came here. Um, and then this Revenant Goblin here is going to drop me four U seeds. So in two items there, I'm looking at 170k. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bank all of this stuff. As you see now, I'll check the looting bag and I've got about 240k's worth of stuff in the looting bag. Plus those blighted manta rays, whatever they were in the inventory. So we're looking at a 250k inventory right about now. So I'm going to go ahead, get it banked and get myself back here and see how much more money I can earn. So we are, what, just over half an hour in? About 32 minutes-ish. I've got heap of random people just logging in and out, trying to find an empty world by the looks of it. Um, I think I had a bot log in. And log out, potentially. A very botty name, anyway. But we are just over half an hour in. We had a 253k inventory, first of all. And now we've got a 23k inventory, so in half an hour we're looking at around about... 275k roughly which means that if we do the exact same again then we're looking at over 500k an hour killing revenant goblins a level 15 monster now it is very obviously going to be rng based getting those juice seeds getting the bracelets me getting a statue the last time that i killed these on my slayer task but isn't all <laughs> combat rng based We are 40 minutes in. First 20 minutes were definitely a lot better than the second 20 minutes. In the second 20 minutes, I didn't actually get anything decent. I'll go ahead and check the loot bag now. We didn't actually really get a lot. In the loot bag, we got. When it opens up. 32k 
plus this little bit. So 33, 34k roughly. Not an awful lot really. Hopefully the last 20 minutes. It'll be a hell of a lot better. That was close. Managed to get away from a PK. Simple enough. And while I'm here, I might as well go ahead and drop all my stuff off and go and do the last 10 minutes. Risk free, essentially. So I'll go ahead quickly and price check all of this. We've got 55,911 GP. In the fifty-nine thousand, no, fifty-five thousand nine hundred eleven, in the um, looting bag, and then <clears throat> I did just have to eat a couple of his food just while I was getting away from him and use my snare sack. But we still got eight thousand and fifty-five GP. So we look at sixty-three thousand nine hundred sixty-six. So if we add that to the two hundred fifty-three thousand that we got so far. It is a 317k per hour money making method and we still got 10 minutes to go. Let's get all of this dropped off and get back in there. So coming up to the hour now. I'm going to kill this one and this one and then we'll be pretty much one hour killing revenant goblins. So hopefully, hopefully we get a drop on this last one. It'd be really, really nice if we do. I'm not expecting it. My RNG here has been pretty good. In what, 150 goblins, I've got U seeds, I've got two bracelets, and I've got a statue. So I've got quite a bit of money out of them already. So, but there we have it. One hour of Revenant Goblins done. Let's head on over to the GE, GE, to Edgeville, before somebody comes and tries and kill me again. When I say again, they didn't actually kill me, but I meant somebody came. And was trying to kill me. Now, the first inventory we got was 253,000 with the four U seeds and the bracelet and a couple of other little bits like blighted super restores or whatever they are in one in one trip. That was 20 minutes. Then the second trip was half an hour. It was cut short because of somebody trying to come and PK me. And we got about 67, 68k from that. Which took us to a total of 317,000. Now, this final inventory, which was 10 minutes, we got another 23,737. So if we add that to our 317k, we are looking at a total hour, or total worth of 340k an hour. Now that's not bad really, considering they are level 13 Revenant Goblins. We really can't expect better than that now. Like I said, my RNG has been quite good. You might spend an hour down there and get no drops like that. But you're still consistently getting Ether and things like that. So you still are going to make money. But it just might be a little bit less until you start getting the drops like the U seeds and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, 340k. An hour at Revenant Goblins, level 13, level 15 monsters, whatever level they are. Really, really worth it. Wilderness is a scary place, but realistically, a level 19 wilderness. What you got to do is teleport out nice and easy to get away. They drop light snares and stuff like that. So if your magic's high enough, have them in your inventory, snare someone, get the hell out of there. You're right next to the exit. Really easy. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, all the love, all the support is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.